going? What's up, guys? Let's do Jerry's more Let's Play, The Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker. In the last episode, we finished off Forbidden Woods, as well as, um, well, we saw a ceremony uh, of the Koroks. In this episode, we're reading a mail. Dear Ryan, um, I think this is just, who is this from? Yeah, this is from Kamali's dad. Yeah, there we go, piece of heart. So, uh, we need to get three more to get our seven heart container. And let's talk to the King of Red Lions. So this place, er, so this place too has been attacked by Ganon. Could he already be regaining his power? Ryan, you must get the remaining pearl. It uh, uh, It lies in a place northwest from here. We must set sail immediately. Yes, we must. Okay, so let me go ahead and get my items back. Wind Waker, the sail, and that thing. Okay, so we're going to head west, uh, or northwest actually, and like I said, right there is actually something for later. Uh, I'll get more into that when we return. Um, actually, no, when we're doing other things. We got two people Skyping me. Let's take a quick look. Oh, a lightning spirit messaged me. Let's see. <laughs> okay, I'll message her back afterwards. Alright, so, um, actually, we're going to need to get out of- Oh, crap! I just remembered, I never got the map fish location. No! Oh, well, I'm not going back for it. I'll, I'll return later when I- Never mind. Um, so right there, the island that we're sailing to, that is actually, um, Mrs. Marie's, uh, oasis. Let's see, how many do I have? Uh, 15, um, I think real quick, um, actually, yeah, not real quick, I don't think. I know for a fact uh, I'm actually going to get up to 40 um, joy pendants real quick so I can, um, let's see, where's the map fish actually? Map fish. Wait, I think it's over there. Yes, there he is. Okay, uh, I'm actually going to, you know, get up to 40 um, joy pendants so I can. Uh, get the cool thing I was talking about, as well as the cabana deed, uh, because we actually need that cabana later on in the game. So you know, I'm gonna go, uh, boy, small fry and all that stuff. <laughs> I'm gonna go up northwest one more square. Um, yeah, then I'll do some stuff there. Then we'll head directly north to Windfall, uh, and I'll just meet you guys um, back at this. Actually, yeah, I'll meet you guys back at this square. So tell me, Small Fry, have you ever heard of the Golden Set of Triumph Forks? Uh, it's right there, I tell you. A chart that shows uh, you where they are in that house. If you want it, you better go in there and uh, scour the place from floor to ceiling. And that's all the information I have for you. Alright, that's actually later, in the, actually towards the end of the game. So we're not going to worry about that right now. Let me go ahead and get that out. Um, but... Uh, if you do remember, uh, on our way to Forest Haven, there was a submarine uh, where, that had a Boca Blend just outside of it. There's a submarine over by those, um, by the, I think that's 5 Eye Reef, or no, 6 Eye Reef. Uh, there's a submarine with three um, rafts next to it with three Boca Blends, actually with one Boca Blend on each of them. Uh, if you keep going in and out of there, uh, you will get to... Uh, You'll definitely get to 20, because uh, I have 15, but um, it's an easy way to get to 40, and it takes all about like 5 minutes, so it's not too big of a hassle, and it's actually really good. Chica Conroy showed it off in his Wind Waker LP, and yes, you're going to hear me talk about his a lot, because, um, well, I haven't really watched, um, Josh, well, I try watching Josh Jepsen's, I've never even tried watching NCS's, um, and I've seen parts of awesome face rods. But other than that, like Chica Conroy's, I've seen all the way, and his I can relate to the most since it has most information. Where's that reef at? Or not reef, where's the submarine at? It's over here somewhere, I think. Oh, there it is. Yeah, see, there's the reef. Uh, there's Dragon Roof off. There's Dragon Roof off in the uh, area, like corner. Uh, but directly north from here, uh, that would be. That'll be windfall. So yeah, we're just going to come on, sail faster. It's actually a great speed run tactic um, because every time you do it, you have like a little um, boost forward. So yeah. Uh, 
to sail, yeah, to sail north, and I'm actually going to skip ahead to when I have 40 and when I'm sailing again, because this does, it does take a while, and it is extremely boring to watch, trust me, I know, because I, I do it every single playthrough. So yeah, I will see you guys in a sec, but before I cut off, I gotta say, once you get, um, up to 40, or once you uh, get all three of these, go inside and come back out. And for some reason, um, the game will not load uh, all the way, so some of the bases will just disappear. Um, I'll probably keep a little snippet of it if it happens, but in that, I will see you guys in just a sec. Alright, so once you have 40, like I said right here, then just, oh wait, let me actually go ahead and set that right there. Then, you know, just sail up to uh, that windfall. Yeah. And, I don't know. I think I might actually cut this trip out. Oh, God. Yeah, I think I'm going to cut this trip out. Um, because, well, you know, it's just sailing and whatnot. Uh, and, you know, you're just going straight north. Just up, like, one more square. So, it's not too much to worry about. Actually, no, wait, wait. I want to keep... Oh, God. Freaking bomb Octorox. I'm actually going to keep it here because when we get to the next square, I want to see something I want to show off. Let's see where's it at. Uh, it should be appearing sometime soon. Next two. There he is. Now, there's a Cyclos. If you remember um, the giant toad thing, um, he was talking to us and said that his brother has been creating Cycloses to cause torment and stuff. To, to people and uh, whatnot. Now, don't sail too close to it because you will actually get sucked in. I'm actually kind of scared when it gets sucked in right now. now oh, move. <laughs> um, but you'll have to take a picture of him uh, as part of like little side quest. It's, it's not required for like a piece of heart or anything, it's just a cool little feature they threw in. Um, but you know. No. But you will worry about that. I will worry about that later. Uh, after the next dungeon, which won't be for at least three more episodes. But, uh, I might as well just keep here and I am cut out. Oh god, it's gonna be really hard for me to tell, um, what time the episode's gonna be at, because I took like eight minutes to do. Yes, it took that long. It's quite annoying to worry about, and when you gotta sail a lot, ugh, not fun. But here is Windfall, and we can just head straight to Miss Marie, uh, Mrs. Marie, and then head straight back. So I will cut the trip um, that back to one of those reefs. I will cut that trip uh, out because no need to show that again. But you know, we all know where Miss Marie is. She lives up, or not lives. Her school is up in the little uh, plaza area. Which, this is actually a very dark looking plaza. It's like where a Mafia would live. The Mafia would happy colors! I don't know. Wind Waker has a pretty, not really dark, but deep story to it. Um, let's see. Accident, pendants. And here you go. Yes, I brought two jewel pendants. 40, yes. Let's see. 20 is her lucky number. So, we get the Cabana deed. Like I said, we need that for later. And... Da -da -da. Now, what are going to do... With these? Take them. Hmm, yes, I gave you 20 before. Yes. And there we go, 41. Which means... She gives us a Hero's Charm. This thing actually took me... Like, I didn't know how to do this until, like, my 10th playthrough, which is when I was watching Chugga Connors OP. Um, so basically what you do is, I want to put this here, and it's really just a cosmetic change. I will be wearing it throughout the, um, the boss battles, but I gotta, uh, ask, do you guys want me to keep Link looking at this, or do you want him to look like this? Posting, I'm gonna wear it for the rest of the episode just because I can. But post in the comments if you want me to uh, have him wearing this throughout the whole entire game or just during the boss fights. Um, I will definitely, you know, read the comments and see. I'll actually 
and I do like a little poll thing, um, like I did to decide um, if I was going to do this game or something else. Wind Waker 1, of course, because I'm not playing it, but that was like several months ago. Um, but yeah, I'll definitely tally up and see who says um, like the boss fights or like throughout the whole entire game. But yeah, enough rambling and stuff. I will see you guys um, back down this square. Alright, so now that we're um, south, well now we're more southeast, or southwest than we were just south. Um, this, oh god, this is the reef that, okay, let me go and, <laughs> I forgot to put that on him. I was not paying attention to myself like two minutes ago. But let's just go ahead and set it west. And we're actually going, like, from this point on where we're actually about to hit, like, the midpoint. Once we get the third pearl, it's going to be, like, the midpoint again. But oh god, oh god. These are called sea hats. Uh, they're, like, pea hats, only freaking huge. And, you know, utterly scary. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Stay back. Oh god. Oh god. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh crap. That one's sailing. Oh god. Oh god. No. 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 Okay, there we go. <laughs> I'm gonna just tell I'm gonna get a comment of one person saying, STOP SAYING NO GOD! That, those things are freaking scary. Not like scary look. I mean, scary as in you know they're coming at you and you have no way of moving. And I just don't feel like getting my boomerang out. Yes, I'm not lazy. But yeah, over here is the next island that the King of Reliance wanted us to come to. And don't try and make it daytime because after the next scene, it's no point. Look, Ryan, do you see it? What has happened to this place? Great Fish Island. What is the meaning of this? The island, it is. <laughs> we are too late. I knew we had precious little time, but I never suspected how little. A great water spirit named Jabon once lived here, but no sign of him remains. Oi there, Ryan! I've never seen a moon before like that. Whoosh. So, you're here. I've been looking for you. Are you by chance seeking the great spirit, Jabon? I'm sorry to report to you that Jabon can no longer be found here. Just look at how this place has been torn to pieces. I suppose this too is the work of the Shadow and Forsaken Fortress. But fear not, Jabon was able to flee this island before it was attacked. He is in a safe ab um, a safer abode now. Would you like would you like to guess where that abode may be? On the island where you were born, on the outset. Yet even if you were to go to outset now, you would not be able to see Jabon. The cave where he hides is sealed by a mighty uh, stone slab that repels all who try to pass it. Why, not even the pirates with their mighty ship could get in. I must apologize, Ryan. I thought if anyone would uh, know of your whereabouts, it would be the pirates. I told them this tale without so much as the thought of the consequences. I do not know what they hoped to get, but they immediately sailed or set sail for Outset Island and tried to break into the cave. It was. It is lucky they could not gain entrance. I have heard that they were last spotted on Windfall Island, but doing what I don't know. I do not know. If you wish to see Jabon, I think you'd better search for the pirates and on Windfall Island. What an eerie island this is! Everywhere else, boasts um, clear skies and calm seas, but this place suffers under dark clouds and rain. Baloo must have been right when he asked me to bring word to you, or bring word of Jabon to you. He said this island, he called this island, cursed. I will consult, or, yeah, I will counsel against staying here longer than you have to. But that is your decision. I have told you of Jabon, so my task is complete. Oh, the moon's gone. 
Alright, so... It appears that Ganon has sent his minions here to destroy um, Greyfish Island just to try and get the pearl. Oh, there's the moon. Let's see if I can get a better shot of it. Yep, so... Well, I guess that's it for this episode. So next time on, let's play The Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker. We're going to talk to the King of Red Lions and, you know, head off to the outset to go have a word with the pirates. So I'll see you all next time.